To make my program work has to be run like a presidential campaign. I want to convince the world that no child should walk this road without hope and a dream. If you ever get a chance to read the book, it will take you where no human has ever been. Just try to answer the question, how can a country that has such possibilities for the future raise so many young people that throw their lives away on crimes, drugs, suicide? They don't want to go to school. They have no regards for their lives or nothing. I was looking for a game. I was looking for an incentive program where every American-born baby can enter and we can be the cheerleaders to bring them to the finish line. America loves to win. Everybody loves to win. But all these ideas are going through my head. Congress and Senate and and President George W. Bush started discussing about investing part of Social Security money to improve the chances that when the young people retire, something will be there. Where something clicked, my head, my heart, my soul. I said, that's a good idea. It's just being applied at the wrong end of life. What if we take the same thought but at the beginning of life, attach a few behavior strings unless you shows up to collect. A national, individual, revocable investment fund with behavior strings attached. Think of it as a lottery ticket, and you become responsible for the winning numbers. My own program was explained to me by a 12-year-old kid. One of my, my daughters is a registered nurse, so one day she calls me, Dad, can you take me? Uh, pick up the kids from school that had an emergency, she couldn't go. So I went, in Boca, actually. My granddaughter was 14, my grandson was 12, and I, and they had a, a 12-year-old girl from his class to take home. Never seen her before. After the initial, hello, oh, why, you, what's your name? I started talking about my plan. And before you know, it was time to drop her off. I asked her, I said, Courtney, did you really understand what I was saying? She turned around, she said, sure, it's simple. If you're good when you're 30 years old, you get a lot of money. If you're no good, you don't get nothing. I said, it took me five, six years, a book, a foundation to say the same thing. And all we have to say, be good someday, you can be somebody. Not everybody was meant to be an astronaut. or a, a, Do you understand what I'm saying? There's people like you and I. I raised four of them, I know. At 20, I wouldn't trust them with my old sneakers. And when you need the money. When you start thinking about money and what you want to do and what you want to go. And then the beauty of this program, let's say 30 years have gone by, it's time to collect. I have three stipulations. If you borrow money to go to college and you then finish paying it back, we deduct. If you divorce your alimony or child support, we deduct. These are major problems in this country. But one stipulation, then no less than 5 to 10% of the total amount has to be reinvested for your retirement. Once you become part of society and you're you're respected by your your family, yourself, your family, your neighbors, your community, your town, I want people to be proud of themselves, proud of the community, proud of of their governments. But not only the benefit, what do you think they're going to do with the money? They're going to buy cars, get a haircut, which I've been a hairstylist and a hair replacement man all my life. Go to restaurants, travel. They sustain the economies for centuries to come. We all depend from one another. More than a vision, a plan for America's future. And don't forget the website, startingevenusa.net.